congratulations on being in It. Thank it's you. the highest grossing horror movie yes. of the time. When you looked at Pennywise the Clown, who's played by Bill Skarsgård, right. how terrifying was he? Um, the, we didn't see him for the first two months of shooting. Oh, wow. Because they just wanted, the first time we saw him, to be on set and our natural reaction. Yeah. So the first time we saw him was like, Traumatizing, but awesome. Traumatizing because it's like, yo, this thing is scary. Because he's like really terrifying, and he's like six foot five, and mm -hmm. just very, just, just you saw the movie. Yeah. But it was awesome too, because it's like, oh, this guy is scary, and I think he'll scare a lot of people who are gonna watch this film. So it was a very mixed emotion, like a roller coaster. Right, and thank God you don't have a fear of clowns, right? No, like, I wouldn't invite one to my birthday, <laughs> but I'm not scared of them, you know. I'm scared of Pennywise, but the average clown, I, I can get past it. Did anyone on set have that irrational fear of clowns? I think um, some of our like doubles and some of the extras, I think they were more scared of clowns, but in the group, I don't think anyone was specifically like, mm. oh, I'm scared of clowns. Yeah. And then when you saw the movie, you know, fully edited and right. fully cut for a theatrical release, yeah. were you surprised like, oh man, this is terrifying? I think because we made the film, it wasn't as shocking to us, but it was more, I think the jokes hit us harder. The score was fantastic. Mm -hmm. That scared me more because yeah. when we heard it, the music wasn't there. So the music really puts you in that realm, in that mindset of, right. oh gosh, <laughs> you know. Was there any scene that was too gory for theaters? Um, actually, Bill talked about the scene. I can't say too much about it because I don't know what they're going to do. Okay. <laughs> but um, there's a scene that's, that's so pretty wise in his past. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty crazy scene. So I, I hope to see it, you know, if it'll be in the next film or what they do with it. But it was awesome. Gotcha. I love that scene. When you think of a horror movie, usually you just think about like, you know, the blood curling scream right. or whatnot. But I think this particular movie, it showed that you guys all have great chemistry. Right. And did you guys have great chemistry yes, on set? Yes, oh my gosh. You guys are all little boys. Like You that, guys are probably having the time of your yes, life. that was the best summer of my life, honestly. <laughs> because that was my first big film. Mm -hmm. And to be able to just spend every day with a group of guys your age, and you know, it still worked, but it made it so much more fun because we really enjoyed each other's company. And that chemistry that's in real life really helped us show chemistry on screen. I mean, because you guys are on the set of a horror film, right. did you guys try to scare the living daylight oh, yes. out of each other? Jack always tries to scare everyone. Jack plays um, Eddie, the kid who always needs his medication. <laughs> and um, he always tries to scare everybody. But he's not good at scaring people, <laughs> but we appreciate the effort he does. But one time we were like, okay, we're gonna get you back. So it was his birthday and um, he comes to set all happy and he goes in his trailer and we fill his trailer with red balloons. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh my gosh, this is cool. But we had Bill, who plays Pennywise, in his closet. So Pennywise jumps out the closet and like says, happy birthday, and starts scaring him. And he's like, oh, oh, thank you. Like, just like really terrified. Yeah. And it was, but that was an awesome payback. But I think that's, that's just certain things we do that just keeps a very like family vibe on set. Oh, for, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if that was, you know, I felt chills as you were telling me that story. If it was me, I would have had a heart attack. Right. For the fans who possibly have a fear of clowns, right. What can you tell them to sort of like soothe them and ease okay. them into this film? Um, I would say anyone who's scared to see this film because you're scared of clowns or R-rated films. This film has a lot of comedy in it. So one second you'll be screaming, the next second you'll be laughing. And then you can just always close your eyes. That's, <laughs> that's the gift of having self-control. You can close your eyes anytime you want. And we can go see it together and I'll tell you what parts to close your eyes on. <laughs> Almost everyone on my social media mm -hmm. has written positive things. I mean, even people who you don't imagine would want to see horror movies right. really liked it. And they're so excited that people are actually talking about a sequel. Yes. But people are saying that the sequel is going to be about you mm. guys growing up. Right. And so is there someone that you would like to see play Mike as an adult? Uh, I have a couple people. Um, my main guy was um, Chadwick Boseman, who plays Black Panther, and David Oyelowo. Will Smith, Idris Elba, any of those guys would be perfect. What if they just waited until you guys grew up? And you then... know, that'd be pretty, but you know, the fans wouldn't like that. <laughs> They'd be like, man, I cannot wait another 27 years. Right, right. But um, I think that'd be kind of a funny reunion if we did it, you know, when we're older and, you know, it'd be a good memory. Yeah, for sure.